for my sister, Sharon. Small tears of innocence. Raindrops bead cheeks of the little boy walking, talking to the little girl, his sister. Their conversation in sibling sotto voce is serious, subdued. They hold hands as they walk down the wet sidewalk that runs from just off the larger sidewalk of Murray Street, all the way to the house in back of the house in front. They live in both every day, but they have gone outside to play and to get away from a sense of stress in the house in back. They smell the just stopped rain on the lilac trees separating their driveway from the manicured yard of the Russian ladies next door. They smell the just stopped rain on the ripe grapes hanging in dark purple clusters from the white wood arbor between front and back houses. They smell the just stopped rain on the red bricks Ma uses to border her flowers. They smell the just stopped rain on the wet sidewalk they walk on talking softly. It is a sweet rain smell and it will be remembered by them forever. As they walk softly, talking on the sidewalk, they see a dead bird lying semi-displayed upon glistening grass. With rusty nails, they operate on the dead bird, trying to fix it. When they see they cannot, they bury the bird beneath the lone pine to rest with other birds and pets. They bury the bird with sincere solemnity and small tears of innocence. Day of the Horse Short legs walking fast until tired, then lifted with their young boy upon Carmelo's broad shoulders. White rail fences along Riverside Drive are alive with early summer's sun. With delight as sparkle dancing in his elfin eyes, Carmelo points for his grandson he calls Rinaldo to the horse, a thoroughbred running with head and tail held Arabian high. Sweet grass smell mingled with man scent of pa and lilacs sing olfactory notes to last a young boy's lifetime. Such early equine joy imprinted upon a boy's creative mind to find rebirth through decades of drawings, paintings, leather carvings, and poems. Oh, my papa. Shut up. Happy birthday. Au revoir.